Take two, sorry. All right, and just We're in the back. moment. <laughs> exactly. We're in the moment. I'll try to ask serious questions. No, I won't. <laughs> Here we go. A only, Mark. More than 80 years ago, right here in this garage, there was a moment that gave rise to Silicon Valley. It's where Bill Hewlett and Dave Packard started HP. Moments like these are at the heart of innovation and inspiration, and we're on a mission to capture them. There was this young man 33 years ago who was looking for an internship in Spain. What was going through your mind when you decided to say, you know what, I want to apply, not even apply mm -hmm. to be an intern at HP? I was in my last year of school, and a group of engineers from HP came to the school to explain what they were doing and to present a program to bring European students to the US. At that point, I thought, I don't know how they can feel, they can talk with so much passion about printers, because printers are like a not very cool device. <laughs> Now, 30 years later, I feel more passion for printing. Yeah, than I was did. just about to say you. <laughs> but I really joined because of the vision they share, the passion, the technology, innovation, which was for an engineering student super captivating. Why is it important that you continue to take time out of the schedule that you have to go back to Spain? Well, we, I still have a long, a big family in Spain. My family, my wife's family, so spending time there is important for us because of our culture. Roots are important, family is important. And for the family there is also very important that we go. If we didn't, it will be a major problem in our <laughs> culture, so. <laughs> All I caught was if I don't go, I'm gonna get in trouble, is what I caught. <laughs> kind of, but we like to do it. You're still one of the few Hispanic CEOs in the US. Do you feel there's some not just a responsibility, but do you feel there's a burden on you as well to break the, the wall, per se, for other opportunities for others? Do you feel that pressure at times? I feel the pressure, but it's positive pressure yeah. because it's about seeing the opportunity of doing better and helping others to do better. It's, it's a motivating pressure. We need that diversity of thinking, that diversity of approach, this understanding different cultures, because this is the only way where we will be a successful company. I saw you at Coachella. And HP has this great, you know, showcase of music and artists uh, around the world that you put together. You shook my hand. At that point, I don't think you knew who I was. There was everybody else was around, and I know you were talking to me. But most people would have just brushed me off because I wasn't there for that event. I learned very early in my career that everybody needs, deserves to be treated with respect. I don't know anybody that comes to the office thinking I'm going to screw this up, thinking I'm going to do something wrong. Everybody comes with the intention of doing something good, and me, as a leader, as I need to acknowledge that, recognize that, and I do that by acknowledging and by dedicating my attention and by treating everybody with the maximum respect. One of the things that I learned very early in my career is that you need to be soft on people and tough on problems. We're gonna do the moment of truth questions. Okay. I'm gonna ask you a whole bunch of questions. We'll try not to laugh. Okay, I'll try, to I'll try ask, not to laugh. I'll try to ask serious questions. No, I won't. <laughs> Here we go. Favorite team, Barcelona, Real Madrid, or someone else entirely? Atletico. Who would you cast to play you in a movie in real life? <laughs> Harrison Ford. Oh, oh <laughs> man, you were in, you know what? I can see the Indiana Jones in you. <laughs> I see, I see, I see you. Dream coffee date with anyone dead or alive? Leonardo da Vinci. Ah. A little birdie, tell me, that you read a book every weekend. What book are you reading right now? I'm actually reading two books. One is a more serious book, Homo Sapiens, that I read some years ago that I wanted to refresh. And the other one is a novel in Spanish called El Ladrón de Sevilla. Ah, love it. You know, we're in this garage. You know, iconic as it can be, it's changed when HP started and what HP is now. So when you think about reflection points, what you want to be in 10 years now, what does, what does that look like? When you were talking about change, I think this is one of the most fundamental things that we need to do. I think that challenging the status quo and looking for ways to do better what we do today is something that everybody in the company needs to do, that, but I need to push really hard as the, as the CEO. I always tell the team that imagination needs to be our only limit. What we do, is not the only thing, it's how we do things is even more important. And this is why sustainability, 
diversity is so important for us because it's about the how we do things. It's not only about what results we achieve, how we achieve those results is tremendously important. That intern, Enrique in Spain, 33 years ago, to now, we're in the garage, how this thing started, we have the CEO saying how we're gonna build it going forward. Your story is inspiring. I think finding other voices is inspiring. And I, I really do appreciate you opening the garage and letting me find the moment for others. So thank you for having me. No, really, thank you for coming.